Finally, it's the start of a new semester. New goals, new dreams, new homework assignments, same old friends, same you. But how can you take that and turn that into something even better? So welcome to the start of a new semester, new goals, new everything, basically. So the way you want to start is you want to get your environment into shape, which means you want to have a peaceful environment. You want to have an environment that you feel safe in, that you love, that you can enjoy yourself. So the first thing I'd do is I'd pick between four scents that I have. So I have this one, which I got from Target. This one from Bath & Body Works, which is Japanese cherry blossom. Warm Vanilla Sugar, also from Bath & Body Works. And then Pure Seduction in Bloom from Victoria's Secret. So I'll usually pick one out, and today we will be using the water, water vanilla sugar, or whatever it's called. Warm Vanilla Sugar. And then I just spray it. And then as you can see, I have my LED lights on with a um, lemon candle burning from Yankee Candle. All right, so you've got this folder right here about with all the pages that I used throughout this entire school year. First thing we're gonna do is empty it out. Okay, now I know staying organized and all that is very difficult, especially for me. So I'm gonna help you out with this one. So basically, you'll just want to remove anything I mean anything that you haven't used in the past semester that you don't think you'll use in this one. So we've got these Spanish papers I think I won't be using, so I'm going to put them here. And then we've got some math stuff without using. And some extra notes is probably best to keep it somewhere safe. That's it. So the first thing you want to do is to organize your to-do list for the week starting from Monday. And just ignore my camera because my tripod was getting in the way. Another thing I like to do is when I have an upcoming assignment starting for the semester, I like to take it into one of my class like pages and I like to write it down as an assignment, you know, like when it's due, what's the name of the assignment, and what category it belongs in. Now this is optional, but if you have a morning slash night routine, you can edit those to make sure it's fit with your schedule, or you can make one if you don't have one already. So another tip I like to do is I like to make a self-reflection journal, whether it be on Notion or on paper. I love self-reflection journals. They can help process your emotions whenever you're feeling like something's wrong or like something's like happy or sad or whatever. And you can just like reflect on your day basically, like what happened, like what's happening in your life, anything basically. Cause I'm so close to the kids and the flow yeah. It's hard not to chase the zeros When they're dangled in front of your nose That's just the way that it goes Now I feel like something we don't do enough is rewarding ourselves whenever we feel like we accomplish something because we feel like it's like not a big deal but like it really is because if you complete like one little thing, like for example, finally eat your breakfast in the morning. Like I know a lot of people have trouble eating breakfast in the morning because they just can't eat and, and a lot of other reasons. But eating breakfast in the morning is such a huge accomplishment. So you can celebrate that by like talking about it with other people or like listening to music or like going outside. That's a great accomplishment. One way to reward myself is by having a snack, simply. 
This is great. Okay, so I already finished my homework already, but here's another tip to help keep you active in this semester. So, taking breaks is really important because it'll help you get your mind off of what you're already doing and it'll boost your brain activity. So, like taking breaks in between your um, working can really help boost your brain activity. So, an, an activity, <sighs> I can't speak today. An activity that I really like to do is just a five minute exercise. So, we're gonna go do that right now. So basically, I did a five minute flat abs workout, which is just a very simple workout. It doesn't take that long. And it really boosts my energy just a little bit which will really help me focus more on my schoolwork and everything I'm working on. Okay, so apparently it actually turns out that I didn't finish my homework after all, so I've got it set up right here. And another little tip that you should do is you take your phone and you silence it. All right, it's already silenced. But then turn it off and you put it somewhere where you won't get distracted with it. We're so caught up with doing our homework on our phones that we forget that we actually have homework to do. So home, the phone is like a really bad, not really bad distraction, but it can distract you from the things that you need to get done, even if it's not homework, to be honest. So the phone is just a really bad distraction. So Silence it so you don't have to worry about any upcoming notifications and um, do your work. And one last thing that should be improved in your 2021 spring semester is how you make use of your time. How you take track of your time, what you do in that time, how you're making sure you don't waste your time. So there's a lot, a couple ways where you can use your time wisely and effectively to help you with your studies, I guess. Anything. Some things include reading a book. I'm not actually reading, by the way. Listening to a podcast. Alexa, play Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain. Here's Anything Goes with Emma Chamberlain from Apple Podcasts. Playing the latest episode, advice session number eight. Or even just lying down with your own thoughts and listening to yourself can even help out. You know, there's a lot of things that you can help out, things that you're passionate about. Or if you're just bored, like, at least, like, do something that'll keep you occupied. Besides going on your phone. But there's a lot of trauma in this world and doing the things you love can help you get your mind off of that trauma because there's so many bad things happening outside. And I really just want the best for everybody. I mean it. Now, everyone has different methods of coping with semester resets and that kind of stuff, but this is just how I personally do it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it came a little late because most people start their semester in, like, the beginning of January, whereas for me, I started the beginning of February because my school starts uh, started on September 16th, and it always starts in September, basically. So that's why I came a little late. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Check out TNC2020. Go subscribe. Comment down below. Eggnog if you made it this far. I don't know why. I just, just comment down below eggnog if you made it this far. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!